Terra Poison, Terra Blast. Poison Jab, okay. Come on, Mirror Close. <sighs> oh, how is it going, my friends? Today, we are going to be using Reuniclus. I love Psychic Pokemon. They're my favorite type, so whenever I can use a Psychic Pokemon, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to flash the rental code on screen right now for y'all to kind of take a look at the squad. I'll also have a Poke Paste down below if you want to see the intricacies of the uh, EVs and everything. Um, not that they're terribly intricate. Um, and if you want to use it on Showdown. Uh, physically defensive for Uniclus. Uh, we are using Calm Mind with Recover and two attacks. This set gets walled by Psychic types, but I would rather kind of get walled by Psychic types than Steel types. Uh, we've got the Psychic and the uh, Focus Blast. You could run like Terra Fighting here um, or something safe like Thunderbolt, but I like to live on the edge. Uh, supporting cast here, we've got um, our um, Incineroar, uh, Clefable, and that's kind of like our big core here is a Psychic, Dark, and Fairy core. Um, and then we've got Rock Setting, Balto, uh, Heavy Duty Boots, Geats, and then Choice Scarf, Goodyear, the um, Great Tusk to break things down. All right, so I am going to lead off with uh, Incineroar. Pretty safe lead, even if they lead something like Palisand. Um, we can always just kind of pivot out. Um, guys, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, ooh, leading with Siren, the good friend. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll just pivot out, uh, into Zapdos here. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, would love to have you. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, uh, by year's end. Every subscriber counts. Uh, it means the world to me when I see you guys subscribe. So let's just carry on. Let's go over to Geats here. Could have also gone into maybe Clefable and Encore them into something. All right, that's fine. Um, I will. A Volt Switch here. They might go into Palace Sand. Purgatory. Alola Champ makes me think, yes, Palisand. Okay, Shiny as well. Okay, that's fine as well. Uh, I'm actually going to... Let's see, this might be an interesting play. Mm, this is good against Cinderace, but like... Well, we've got answers. I'm actually going to go into... Expecting them to maybe want to set up rocks. I'm going to go... Oh, it's Quick Claw. I hate Quick Claw. Like, I love Quick Claw for the memes, but I hate <laughs> Quick Claw. My buddy Doug can attest to how much I hate Quick Claw. Um, okay, Shadow Ball. So, I'm going to take this opportunity here to just set up rocks, I think. Um, do I want rocks or do I want some crunch damage on this? I think rocks are more important because this Pokemon's outsped by a lot. Um, so I will, I'll set up the rocks here, and then we'll find a, we'll find another way to pressure them. We could definitely pressure them with, um, um, the Tuscanator. We could knock off. So, yeah, let's just kind of, let's just kind of see. Let's just kind of see. Um, yeah, we'll go to Goodyear, we'll knock. We'll, we'll start with a knock. Good Ice Spinner here as well. It covers our team pretty well. But Knock is pretty good. I want to start, just kind of break the team down a little bit here. And then get the Quick Claw again. Scorching Sands, do not burn me. Thank God, dude. <laughs> Beautiful, no more Quick Claw. No more Quick Claw. And I'll just Knock again. Perfect. Good stuff, good stuff. That was a pretty annoying Pokemon uh, to have to deal with. This Pokemon is super valuable to the team, so we don't want to... We don't really necessarily want to lose him. 
Dark Mage. Man, this guy's busting out all of the cool names. Uh, this is an easy switch into Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, the Incineroar. Shout out to Brock Lesnar. Back from the old WWE, um, the old SmackDown days. Play rough and the miss. Maybe. Oh, no, they had to Protean first. Okay. Um, play rough. Honestly, I kind of think that's kind of. Actually, you know what? We could. I want a Will O Wisp. Which we can Will O Wisp. We can miss. I guess we deserve that. <laughs> I guess maybe we deserve that. We don't, but. Um, I'll Will O Wisp again, because then even if they go into Pre Marina, we know we're faster from our interaction last time, and I can just pivot out into um, Call Fable. Alright, good play, good play. Tricks. Yeah, this dude has insane nicknames, I'm jealous. So we'll go out to Navi here. And then I like maybe throwing out a Thunder Wave, maybe a Wish to get Incineroar kind of like back into the game at full health. Pyro Ball. Yeah, I feel like we're not really worried about speed too much because we got the Scarf. I think I would rather Wish and... Um... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Unfortunate. But also fine. Because now we go Brock Lesnar. And we can throw off another Will-O-Wisp here if we want. Or we can just parting shot out and just try to win this game with... Um, I think we will. We can, just, we can just parting shot out and just... Be done with all this nonsense. Let's get Reuniclus in here and see if we can just win the game outright. Like, if we... T I, I don't think we lose much by going Terra Fairy. So let's just do it. Let's bring the win count out and see if we can just wall the wall the rest of this, this squad here. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. I would expect them to maybe go out to the kitty here. But one thing this team is pretty good at is this is a nice little mid game Pokemon here, Reuniclus. Wall out the opposing team and then just let um, Great Tusk kind of clean up the rest of the the rest of it. Do we Terra? Do we Terra? That's the question. I wish this thing was burned so that I wouldn't have to. Um, but we, we really don't lose anything from from terra ing here. Like, I feel like if, if we're going to do it, this is it. So, let's Terra here and let's Focus Blast. Hopefully it's not knockoff, but I would imagine maybe it is. We do have to worry about the Cinderace in the back. It's got, we know it's got Iron Head. Oh, they Flower Trick. Okay. This will hurt. Actually, it wasn't even that bad. And we land the Focus Blast like a boss. Perfect. That's beautiful. So now I'd imagine Cinderace comes out here and just clicks Iron Head. This is still really, really valuable. Yep, Trick's coming out. We know they're going to probably click Iron Head. But they're taking Stealth Rock damage. It's really, really nice. I want to keep this fresh. So I think maybe I'll go Geats, actually. Hopefully they make contact, static, and then we can roost. Oh, come on, give it to us. Give it to us. Give us the static. 
They get a critical hit. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Justice. And now we roost. Yeah, that's justice for the missed Will-O-Wisp earlier, so we're not mad about that. Um, honestly, kind of want to just get rid of this. But at the same time, this is a really good Pokemon to set up in front of. Nah, we need a gun. I'm just trying to like, where's another opportunity for us to set up? Because it's got a lot of, there's a lot of special attackers left. We'll go Brock Lesnar. Let's see. I think Reuniclus is still slower. Even with the paralysis. Reuniclus. Yeah, we're on base 30 speed. And then I'll just parting shot. Uh, Reuniclus, Cinderace. If they're paralyzed, yeah, there's, <laughs> they're still like way faster than us. All right. Oop, nope, not you. Alright, so we will... We'll recover once. If they get through. That should get us back up to full. And we, we could be good to go from there. Okay, so they do withdraw. Interested to see who they go. Hyperion. Alright. Maybe clanging scales. Well, no, they can't clanging scales. We're, uh. What if this is Iron Head or Terra Steel or something? We'll call mine once. Oh, Dragon Dance. Okay. Maybe they also have Iron Head. But we should live. We should live one, I think. Unless they like Terra Steel or something. We'll psychic here. All right, here comes the Terra. Is it Terra Steel with Iron Head? That might be. That might do us in. Terra Poison. Terra Poison. Terra Blast. Poison Jab. Okay. Come on, Mirror Close. <sighs> oh. So bulky, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it, Reuniclus. I wish there was a way for us to get some more HP. But Reuniclus may have done its job at this point. We'll kinda we'll see, we'll see. Alright, here comes Siren, the great friends. Mm, we could uh, Oh, this is so... Oh, Primarina. Let's just say it's Assault Vest to our Uniclus at plus one special defense. Moonblast is 23 to 27. Yeah, we can recover in front of this, I think. We'll see. It's it's gonna be close. We we might not uh, we might regret it, but let's let's just give it a whirl. Sparkling Arya. Ah. Ah. All right. Good job, Reuniclus. You did good. All right. So now we go Geats. We kind of just spam discharge at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely just spam Discharge. This will also kind of reveal like what set this is. This might be Assault Vest. Definitely Assault Vest. Alright.
Now I think we can just kind of... I think we can headlong rush to just finish the game here. Yeah, if it's not Scarf Meloetta, we should be okay. So yeah, we'll just headlong rush. Alright, there's one. Yeah, kind of, you're definitely seeing, like, what this team can do, like, this has kind of been, like, a blueprint. Oh, they went right out to it. It might be Scarfed. So, we'll go Brock Lesnar first. We kind of have to go Brock Lesnar first. Just to kind of scout. And then this way, if they change into, like, the pirouette form, then we can intimidate them. Okay, so they go for Psychic. So we will knock here. Okay, they're not Scarfed. Let's see. Meloetta, Pirouette. Great Tusk. Okay, we are still faster, so we can just close combat twice now. And that should be game. So yeah, we kind of did... We did the thing. We had Reuniclus kind of come in in the middle of the game, soften up the team by absorbing some blows, dealing some damage in return, and then Great Tusk with the Scarf cleans up the team. Pretty much how we uh, how we designed it. Now the best thing this guy can do is maybe go for like uh, a Sucker Punch or something, which still, yep, still should not KO us. They do land, yeah. We're <laughs> it's too too thick for that. Too thick. All right, and that is that's a wrap, dude. Reuniclus really paving the way here for um, Great Tusk to clean up the game. GG's to our opponent. GG's. Alright. Pretty good looking squad from our opponent. They got some threats. They got some threats to Reuniclus here. Um, I would expect them to lead the Rotom. Um, also, I see a lot of pivoting options on their team, so I will lead Balto here to get up our rocks. I don't see hazard removal, so that is great. Oh, we need you. We need you, Goodyear. I'm, I'm not putting you back, sir. We need you. So, yes. Um, I'm just going to lead off, click rocks, and go from there. If they lead Cleavor... Uh, we can definitely get off an Accelerock on the way out. They do lead Cleavor. These are usually Scarfed. Um, and he's also going to Stone Axe here. So I will set up Stealth Rock. We'll learn a lot. Okay, they're not. They're not Scarfed. Okay. But they do learn Quick Attack, so we're going to keep that in mind. Okay, and then they X Scissor. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So we don't even have to Excel Rock. We can just Rock Slide here and get a little more damage off. I'm surprised they would not Stone Axe there. Perfect. And the X's are again. Great, Balto did his job. Uh, So with that, all... Set and done. We go to Goodyear here and we probably pick up a KO. We'll take a look at their squad and figure out what is the best move to go with. Uh, as much as I want to click. Oh yeah, they don't have a close combat switch in. So we will close combat. Alright, so one of the big threats to Reuniclus definitely eliminated there. We do not want to be eating stone axes and X scissors from that guy. Rotom is a big problem. 
Roman's a big problem. This team doesn't have a lot of amazing... Um, mold Breaker. It does not have a lot of amazing switch-ins to... Do we go Navi here? I'm worried about a I'm worried about a steel move. They always have a steel move, you know what I mean? They're always carrying Iron Head or Poison Jab or something. We don't have a lot of good switch ins to water moves, so this dude could literally like pump his way through this team. Is what I was what I was trying to say. Um I want a Thunder Wave, but I don't. You know what I mean? So I think I'll wish. Wish on the switch. And then that'll give us a switch into something. And then we get that wish off. CT hands. See, it's a good thing I didn't Thunder Wave. <sighs> Honestly, we could just stay in and like just continuously move Moonblast this thing. But it makes more sense to go to Brock Lesnar here. We can get off and Intimidate, replenish all that HP, and then we can pivot into um, Reunclos if we want. Thunder Punch coming in. Not going to do anything. Just like we drew it up. And now we Parting Shot. Break Break, doesn't matter. This is an old school Electivire. I remember running Brick Break Electivire at Gen 4 because I didn't want to run Cross Chop because it could miss. I ran the two punches with Brick Break and then I don't even remember what else. That mod was booty back then. Still kind of booty, but it's got Terra now. It's more fun. Alright, let's get one up. Let's get one up. Let's call mine once. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Rotom's coming in. Please don't be trick. Please don't be trick. Please don't be trick. But we can't really switch in on it. So let's just give it a shot. So let's uh, let's see what it is. Eerie impulse. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Is it pain split as well? That's actually really annoying. Like I said, we don't have the greatest switch ins. This is actually a super annoying mon. Thunderbolt doesn't do anything. Yeah, like, we're... I feel like we're gonna crit this eventually. Like, they have to Eerie Impulse again. Okay, they both switch. Probably into the Kitty Cat. So, if they go into the Kitty Cat... If we weren't Eerie Impulsed, I would just Terra outright, and I would Focus Blast, but... Not smart, unfortunately. But eerie Impulse is really annoying. Like, if, it, if that Rotom didn't have Eerie Impulse, we could literally just win this game right here and right now. Okay. Axe is coming out. We're gonna get some chip off on this thing. So I'm really curious what their play is here. Like, would they really let me... Would they really let me go Clefable again? I think we go... Let's take a look at their team. <sighs> Incineroar is like too good right now. I think I do have to go. I do have to go Navi. Like I need to keep Incineroar healthy to like soak up a hit and potentially get off a Will O Wisp somewhere. So we'll go Navi, and they crunch this time. Defense did fall. That's not good.
I'm curious what this set is. Uh, and then I will... I'll wish again. We'll start with that. Alright, perfect. They withdraw. Alright, and then Incineroar comes out. And takes massive damage because it's not heavy duty boots. They'll intimidate me, I'll wish. And then we just go right back out to our own Incineroar. And then we just this endless game of pivoting and healing and all that good stuff. This is a really fun team. You guys should pick it up. Let me know if you if you like it. Fire punch, no sir. Hmm. Yeah, I just parting shot out again. We are faster, unfortunately. I wonder if they had a fighting move. Go to the blue devil. Yep, they do. Alright, cross job. Hmm, so... I'm just looking at their squad. We... we... Is it going to hit me with a dark move? I think, yeah, we have to... We'll tear and we'll recover. They're going to stay in. They're going to knock off or something. This gets us ahead of the game here. Yep, Darkest Lariat. Perfect, and then we'll be at full health. So they have not revealed, so we've seen Cross Chop, Fire Punch, Darkest Lariat. Calm Mind once. Fire Punch, not, not, not gonna do anything, buddy. We are physically defensive. You know, honestly, I feel like we just win. Let's focus blast. And hopefully they go Rotom here. They just sack it so they can't eerie impulse us anymore. Rotom? Rotom? Let it be Rotom. CT hands. Ah, this dude. We do land though, which is awesome. And I think we're good to call mind one more time too. I don't think they can two hit KO us with anything. Oh, they're gonna come at the Terra. Okay, what do we got? Terra Electric, okay. Makes sense. Honestly, I feel like it's a pretty good Terra for Electivire. It needs all of the offensive help it can get. Thunder Punch. Alright, let's see. Will the Greed punish me? No, it won't. It will not. I don't want to be paralyzed by this Pokemon on a... Nasty hack. Um, I'm gonna recover one time. So that gives them the opportunity to Thunder Punch us twice. I just want to get as close to full as possible. This will just kind of get us closer. And then we Psychic. Reunicus, Reunicus is a good blob, dude. <laughs> what a good blob.
You gotta be super cell slam, dude, on on Electivire. Unfortunately. So I think Kitty comes out here in Flower Tricks. And we don't have to get we don't have to sack this. We can always go Incineroar. Like there is there's absolutely no reason. Um okay, Lily the Gourmet. Okay, yep, this is uh this is cat. We can mm, we might we might live. We might live. Let's see. Reuniclus against Meow. Flower Trick doesn't actually KO. Unless they're like banded or something. Let's, let's focus blast. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't even KO. And we land every Focus Blast, dude. Yeah, dude, this, this Pokemon is so fat. It's awesome. So now, at this point, I, I don't know what they do. Incineroar comes out. I'm just going to recover in front of this. I don't think they can KO me. It'll be kind of close, but... I mean, if they were Flare Blitz, maybe. But yeah, I, I just... I recover... Okay, they cancelled. They didn't want it. He's too thick. He's a thick blob. GG's to our opponent. But that's what Reuniclus does. Walling people out. As always, if you guys have made it this far, I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the battles. Uh, let me know what you think. Rent the team. Give me your thoughts. Uh, like I said, I'll give you a slightly more um, in-depth um, breakdown of the team. You kind of saw it in action. Every Pokemon here put in work in this this game. So, yeah, physically defensive Reuniclus, you you kind of saw um, what it could do. Uh, this is a real this is a mixed Incineroar. It does a, it's got a little bit of everything except pretty much speed. It's mostly especially defensive. That's where I spent most of my EVs. Um, actually, I think I maxed out the HP as well. But it's it's mostly mixed defenses with like slightly like a little bit of attack. This is a utility Incineroar, um, and I'm digging this. I'm really digging this Incineroar set in in singles in Gen 9. This, I think this is like, I, this is just super solid. He's putting in so much work. Uh, Clefable, this is mixed defenses Clefable. Got the Thunder Wave to slow things down. This team is really bulky and not very fast, so Thunder Waving some things could be useful. However, most of the time you're kind of just looking for free turns with the Thunder Wave or with the Encore, catch something, you know, maybe setting up or setting up Stealth Rocks or some something dumb like that, Moonblast or Stab, uh, and then wish to pass off to uh, any of your tanks in like Zapdos, Incineroar, or the Reuniclus. Uh, Lycanroc, just there to set up rocks, maybe hit a Ghost with Crunch if we need, Focus Sash, really strong lead for us. Uh, this Zapdos is mostly physically offensive. Uh, again, mixed. We're just trying to catch people um, using physical attacks so we can snag a static and then Volt Switch out. Got a couple different pivoting options in this team. And then Great Tusk is our like biggest like straight up damage offensive Pokemon here. This is the Pokemon that cleans up the game. You saw it in that first game, uh, really doing its job. So uh, tear ground for uh, more um offensive prowess guys thank you so much appreciate y'all i'll catch you on the next one until then peace